Hi guys, welcome back. We're gonna be working on the Mustang some more today. I've pretty much already done the work, but I just wanna go over and tell you guys what exactly I did. Uh, where we left off last, we uh, swapped the x War tuner with Vince's uh, Mustang. So we have that tuner. Uh, talked with uh, Lido. He is actually on a uh, holiday right now, so he told me tomorrow he'll be able to get the new tune for me. So that's ex where I'm ex when I'm expecting to get it all um, up and running, or at least started, and uh, gone through the first process of starting it. Um, I did have to work on the shifter. I just swapped that out, and also a couple of other odds and ends that I needed to take a look at. So let me show you guys. Uh, what's going on with it. So I have the Mustang here up on jacks. Uh, we are very limited on driveway space, so just kind of had to made it do this way. So under here, under the car, what I did was uh, just got some of this cabling out of the way. Also, like I said, I had to work on the shifter. So basically what I did is I popped off the shipper, shifter linkage from the 6R80 there and unbolted the bracket and uh, pulled it up through the top. Got the new shifter on there, so I have a stock 05 to 09 Mustang shifter in there, and got this bolted back on. There's also an inspection cover up there. Lights are kind of on it, it's really hard to see up there, but inspection cover I needed to put it back on. And then the uh, dipstick that I have for this. It was leaking just a little bit when it was on its end, so uh, I just went ahead and tightened everything down and I applied some uh, silicone to it. Uh, so that'll dry up and hopefully stop any type of leaks I might have. All in all, that's pretty much all I had to do. I'll go inside the cabin here and show you a bit more. I also got all the cabling that was behind this fender liner uh, all wrapped up and got the fender liner in there. So that's pretty much good to put back now. So inside the Mustang here, I have my original shifter uh, all bolted in. It was easiest just to unbolt or uh, take the shifter linkage off the transmission and pull it up through here rather than trying to mess with that. And uh, ended up working out just fine. Got it on here. I'm able to have it completely in park now, which is good. And uh, reverse and neutral are the only ones that will be kind of finicky. Um, I'm still thinking of getting a 2011 to 14 shifter for this because uh, the spacing between the gears is still not perfect. But this will work. So just to get it running, that's what I'm going to go ahead and do. I might just post this uh, little clip. Uh, depending on my progress tomorrow when I get my tune from Lido, I might continue it. So uh, that's pretty much all the progress I have for today. Uh, pretty much everything under the car and with the computer is done. Uh, so essentially it's just up to the tune and going through that. And I do need to fill up about five more quarts of transmission fluid, but otherwise that's about it. And we'll go ahead and uh, continue from there. All right, guys, we are back again uh, working on the Mustang. Probably saw last where we left off. Basically, it's like a week later. <laughs> We've uh, ran into some roadblocks and uh, it's determined that the transmission that I have, the range sensor in it, is uh, going out or just not working. Right now the uh, Quick 6 controller thinks that it is in first gear manually. I go through all the gears and it doesn't change. Uh, status should be in park where it's at right now. And with how the neutral safety is set up, it should start in park or neutral. So in its current situation, it should start. So um, we went ahead and got a uh, new part. I believe this is what's called a lead frame. It's for a 6R80. Basically this right here, uh, that is attached to the shifter and that will determine the gear that it's in. It also has quite a few other connectors uh, on it. Um, also Ford make it, made it fairly easy to replace this. Basically all we have to do on the Mustang over there is drop the pan and uh, remove the valve body. Also, seems like they intended for this type of maintenance. Um, I don't know why, but when you remove the valve body, normally, if you separate them, uh, these little balls, bearings that are in there that are there to regulate pressures and, you know, command shifts or do whatever. Um, normally, if you remove the valve body, it's real mess and you have to be careful with it. Uh, this one, though, actually, you can remove the whole valve body without uh, taking it apart. So there's, I think there's like eight screws that you need to remove and uh, you'll be able to take it out. And then we'll be able to replace this. So I did unfortunately fill the transmission with like five or six quarts of fluid. So we are going to have to catch that. Um, I'm going to catch it in a clean container and use it because uh, I don't want to have to buy more of this expensive fluid. So we're going to go ahead and get working on that. And uh, we should probably possibly have it running today or tomorrow. So uh, we're going to go ahead and work on that now. It's actually pretty bright out today, but this GoPro is just not very great at picking up light. Let's see if that helps a little bit, but 
Got all the bolts off on the oil pan here, except for one. I'm just letting it drain. I did clean up this uh, catch can uh, prior to doing this so we can reuse the fluid. It was I cleaned up the brake clean and there was no specks or dirt or anything in there, so should be safe to reuse. Just gonna let this drain a little bit more. I'm gonna take the last bolt off and then I'll show you under here what exactly is going on. All right, got the pan off. Now we need to get this uh, filter off as well. And then this is the valve body right under it. Uh, I guess also we are gonna need to disconnect the computer up this way, or I guess towards that end. I'll come around and disconnect that and uh, we should be good to remove it. Right there is the range sensor right next to the shift lever. So that's the, the problem we're running into is where it's not, it doesn't know what gear it's in. So uh, I'm gonna go ahead and take this filter off and uh, take a look at the valve body and uh, see which screws we need to remove because there are some that separate the actual valve body, which we don't want to do, and then there's screws that removes it from the transmission, which is what we want, so. All right, guys, this is gonna be kind of a hard angle for me. Uh, so position yourselves, imagine you're upside down right now. Um, I can see right away that the range sensor, that black thing right here, Hey, let me zoom in too. That black thing right there, that sensor is not attached to the shifter. So when you go through the gears, that needs to be attached there. And this is just not attached at all. So that would be our problem. So uh, chances are we could actually reuse this, but since I have the new part, I think I'm just going to swap it on. All right guys, the uh, valve body is off. It's just a bunch of screws go up in there. I did drop a pressure release. It's just right next to the shifter there. We'll just have to put that back in. From the video I've seen, you just put it back up in the hole, hold it with grease. There's also that yellow square thing that's yeah, it can fall too. But uh, otherwise, here it is. I'm going to go ahead and uh, take it out over towards the garage and swap over the electronics and I'll show you how to do that. Alright guys, here is the old lead frame and here is the new one on the valve body. As you can see, it didn't get separated, so uh, just those bolts. And then actually there are bolts on the other side that hold this on, so we will have to flip it back over and uh, get it on there. Looking at the, looking at the sensor here, it's going to be really hard to see. There is no ball on it that's supposed to sit in there, whereas this side you can see right there, the little protrusion. So uh, once it's back in the car, I'm gonna go through the gears and see how it operates, make sure it didn't get broken off in there. It's totally possible that it was just broken off before. I mean, I did get this off of a uh, old F-150, so we'll see. And uh, also not a bad, bad thing that we're replacing this whole thing. It replaces a lot of different sensors. So overall, not a bad idea. So I'm probably just gonna set up the, the GoPro here on a tripod and just swap over the stuff. There is the old one and the new one. They did provide a gasket to put on the new one for these sensors. This one doesn't look like you even had one. So uh, a little bit better design there just to keep any type of metal particles that might get up there that might cause any problems. As you can see between the new one and the old one, that definitely broke off or something. Not sure when, but now what you do is you get it on here, line it up with that tab right there and uh, should be good to go. Alrighty, new lead frame is on. Uh, I'm gonna quickly look up what the torque specs are for these. I'm sure it's gonna be something very small, like seven foot-pounds or something like that. Um, and then I'm gonna go ahead, get under the car, and put this back in, and uh, take a look at it. But as you, if you can see, right down here, that is where the pin should be. So when this moves with the gear selector, it'll move the sensor. Honestly, not sure how it broke it. Alright guys, it's going to be extremely hard to see 
down here, but uh, we got the valve body back up there. I uh, got it aligned properly with the shifter linkage, and then I got the uh, harness plugged back in up there. It's gonna be real hard to see, but uh, I did turn on the car, just the ignition, and I saw it's reading in park now, so it's exactly what we needed. So last thing, we just need to get the oil pan and filter on, and uh, get the shift bracket back on, and get our new tune on, and uh, it should start. All right, guys, uh, we finished up with all the work that we are doing today. We got the lead frame replaced on the transmission. Uh, I did uh, turn on the key, and when I got the shifter bracket on, I went through all the gears, and it showed me park, reverse, neutral, drive, everything. So uh, we are definitely good to go. It was definitely this. That was the issue. The uh, range selector was just broken off. Uh, so, yeah, I don't know. I bought it. They said that they went through it, but maybe it broke off when they were reassembling it. I have honestly have no idea. Uh, I did confirm everything's working there. So what I'm doing now is I'm just waiting on Lido just to get a uh, to con confirmation that the tune that he gave me before works. And then we are going to go ahead and fire it up in the next video and give it on a test drive and sh show you some of the tuning process with the Quick 6. It'll be really cool. So thanks for watching. Like, subscribe, and uh, follow along to do this yourself to your car. It's pretty cool. Thanks.